to collect soil to send to a lab, you want a, as much as possible, a representative of the whole area that you're going to include in the test area. So there's a certain way of doing that. There's also some certain things you want to avoid, and we'll show you those as well. So what you're going to do is take your probe, or if you're using a small trowel, just dig a small hole with a trowel. We're going to use our soil profile. We're just going to push it in the ground, and we're, we're trying to find a couple things. We want to push down, twist it a little bit, and then pull it out, and you can see the soil comes right out with it. Now, one of the things that I try and do is use the same amount of pressure every time so that I'm not pushing harder one time or not at the time because one of the things that we want to know is what's the compaction of the soil how how well can the oxygen get down into the soil everything needs oxygen every living system needs oxygen so if your ground is hard and compact it's harder to get oxygen down there which means the roots aren't going to grow nor is the biology the very critical important biology in the soil going to grow because it needs air just like you and i need air so what we're showing here with this with this particular soil profile or plug we were looking to see if there's any thatch on it, this lawn has very, very, very little thatch. A little bit here at the top, but not much at all. That's not bad. If you had a half an inch or an inch of thatch on top, and thatch is undecomposed grass clippings that are sitting on top of the soil, or it could be actually roots that are growing on top of the soil for a number of different reasons, uh, that's thatch. Uh, thatch is not a good thing. If you are, are, are into turf at all, you know that thatch can lead to insect damage, it can lead to a lot of disease damage, um, so there's a lot of problem with thatch. So we don't want a lot of thatch. So we're looking at this here, we're looking to see, uh, we're going to pull this apart a little bit and see if we see roots in here. Now this area right here that we tested right now uh, was actually torn up last fall during a construction project. Uh, so there's not, the roots here are not real long, plus this time of year it's been a little dry here this year. Uh, the roots have sort of shriveled up a little bit. But we're looking to see, here's some roots down here actually from last year. They were down about two inches in the soil. So we're kind of looking to see anything that might be unusual in the soil, seeing what the color of it is, looking for root depth, uh, and then seeing how much the thatch is. And once we get this, we're going to throw the thatch away, and we're going to put the soil in a, in a collection can. We typically want uh, probably 10 to 12 different spots randomly selected throughout the property. You collect it together, put it, collect it in a can, mix it together, and then that's what you send to the lab for testing. That way you have a, a good representation of what you're dealing with in the soil. couple other areas you want to avoid taking samples from because it'll kind of skew the results is along edges of walks or driveways or certainly out in the street along the curb line. Uh, you want to avoid those places because a lot of times during the construction process there might have been a lot of stone or construction debris that were used to make those things so that's going to give you kind of a, it's going to change it's going to skew the, the numbers for you so you want to stay maybe a couple feet away off the edges of those kinds of things especially along a road uh, where they may have spread salt in the winter time uh, and some of that stuff gets plowed up on the curb line and in the grass between the curb and the sidewalk or along the edges there that's another area you probably just want to avoid and not take any soils from those areas particularly because that will also um, skew the numbers and not give you true readings. So we're going to take these uh we're going to take these random samples, samples from all over the lawn, these cores. Uh, again, we should have, you should have 10 to 12 of those. Put them in some kind of container, uh, an old can, a plastic bucket or anything. Then you're going to take a screwdriver and just mix them up, break them all up so that they um, are all mixed together. And then you're going to take one cup of this material and send it to the lab uh, for analysis. Thanks very much.